That discussion among scientists gave rise to a question that is always of interest to biologists, which is, what is life? What makes a planet habitable for life? Because in that debate, there was a, basically they were trying to look at the history of life on this planet. I mean, they only know of one planet that has had life. And we now think of exoplanets. But the very, what we today call Earth system science, emerged out of what I, in my head, called comparative planetology. So the question was, you know, why is Venus so hot? Why is Mars so cold? And why is this planet like a Goldilocks planet, which is exactly right for life, which has sustained life for billions of years, and multicellular complex life for 500 million years?